Hey guys, what's going on? MJ from Marsh RC here, and today we are taking a look at a different type of video. We are going to explore the Reefs RC Triple Seven fully programmable and waterproof servo. Let's hit it. Alright guys, so let's take a look how to download the Reefs RC software. So first and foremost, you go to ReefsRC.com, then you are going to come over here to the Reefs software. Click on it, it's going to kick you over to a OneDrive. Now Reef has this set up as a zip file, it is uneditable, and from here you are going to uh, come over and click it, and then it'll come down. It might even say uh, the software is not commonly downloaded and it may be dangerous. Disregard that. It's rare that I will say that, but I also had it checked. My AVG uh, antivirus came up and said, you know, warning, warning, Will Robinson, warning. I had I kicked it over, had it had them check it out because if if I didn't, the actual program wouldn't run. Um, so I actually ended up having to turn my AVG off for about an hour and a half before it came back and said, okay, program all clear. It only does this with the AVG because it is a un it's, it's a brand new program. It's literally just released. So that way you can take care of business. So let's uh, you're going to basically make sure you get in there. You're going to double click the application. And then it'll say Windows protected your PC. At least it does on mine. And what I did was I went to more information. It says app reef exe publisher unknown and I said run anyway and the program ran so because it's so new Windows uh, might want to say I'm not sure I'm not sure yes it is for pr your protection but having multiple layers of antivirus the only one that kicked off was AVG and it has been scanned and updated in their database so that it is considered a uh, an okay program and is not an issue okay so make sure you guys take care of business and get that downloaded so that way you can get in here and tune your servo. One thing that I want to start off with is making sure that your servo baseline is safe. So once everything's plugged in, you've got your Reef software uh, uploaded and ready to go. What I'm going to suggest to do is go and hit that magical save button. You're going to type in something 777 baseline something that you know this is the original settings and then slam that button save we're gonna talk about the uh, programming the 777 and this is the first fully programmable servo on the market so looking at the servo angle right off the bat we're gonna focus on the basic parameters here servo angle is how much the servo is gonna go left or right so uh, it's stock set at uh, 130 I'm actually gonna up that a little bit to 140 um, you can also adjust it if it's too much you can also come back or rewrite the program or adjust it from your controller servo neutral I'm going to keep it 32 this is essentially your trim left or right you may need to adjust that and this will give you some flexibility so that way you can actually you can save your trim for everything else PMW power now this is where it gets a little bit fun this is how much power you want your servo servo motor to put out now remember this is steel gears so they are replaceable at the same time they could possibly da uh, be damaged understand that I'm gonna bump mine to 85 percent I know at the at looking at this video mr. reef himself is just probably shaking his head saying MJ 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 I would not be surprised if he was expecting me to go full turkey and call it a hundo now dampening factor this is a bit deeper than what you guys might think I would actually suggest before you touching this reading some engineering articles talking about servos there are some articles uh, on servo dampening from compumotor.com all I did was Google servo dampening and the definition and the I think it was the 
fourth or fifth one. It says CompuMotor.com. Its article call is called Servo Tuning. Take some time to read that. Uh, you, it would definitely be best to understand uh, what they're talking about before you start messing with it. Okay. I'm going to skip down to sensitivity, ultra high. So that means if you know you touch it, it's going to go, and it might even go. Duh, 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 as we see some servos do that are really cool. I'm actually going to turn that down just a little bit. Uh, so it's not as fast. So you're talking about the best speed possible. You know what? I'm going to leave that go. I've seen the raw 500 and the way it does, you know, and how responsive it is. Thinking about those numbers, how at on 3S, that's going to be pretty similar. I'm really happy with the raw 500. So putting that in comparison, you know what? I'm going to leave that go. Okay. Now, soft start. This is uh, an area that is rather interesting. So what it does is give a pow full power restoration. So it applies power gradually as if you are taking your test and accelerating gradually so you can pass and get your license before you do anything crazy. So that way the, the servo itself will gently turn and, and that's where you'll get your signal. Okay, And then here's the other part. It also helps prevent damage from uh, incorrect mounting so that way you know you have a chance to save yourself so please be smart whenever you do this also know whenever you plug this in uh, off the bat this will self center itself uh, self center and it will be good now I'm gonna come down to Sanwa and narrow band I'll get to inversion in a second the Sanwa is for the Sanwa controllers and narrow band is for this Butaba SR okay so that way you can uh, you can take care and work with uh, each uh, style of uh, controller. The inversion, that's if you're gonna flip it, you know you right left and then you can usually do some sort of an inversion on your controller as well. Excuse me as well if you have an aftermarket controller. So you can also take care of it here. So the loose PPM protection. There are three positions here. You have a release, which is basically going to just give no protection at all. So it, it you lose thro you lose throttle, it's going to do whatever it wants. You lose signal, it's going to do whatever it wants. Um, you can keep the position. So if you lose signal, if you're a full lock, it'll stay at full lock. If you're not at full lock, you know you're you're 35 percent, it'll stay at 35 percent. Or you could go to the neutral position. This is where I'm gonna set my act, set mine is go to the neutral position so it'll self center. Actually, I'm thinking about this. No, I'm gonna actually go back to keep position. Reason is if I'm on a crazy line and I lose signal across the board, and I'm next to a river that's raging, I don't want to see my truck going in for a drink so I'm gonna have a keep position so if I'm full lock it'll stay at full lock if I'm that you know 30% it'll stay at 30% where I set it okay now we're gonna come over here to the overload protect I'm not gonna touch this um, until I do a little bit more research on exactly what it should be know that your servo is set is set for a longevity so you could up all of these if you really wanted to. Do I suggest it? No. At least not until you know what you're doing. Okay? That is a big thing. So, that said, servo angle, neutral, power's a little bumped. Dampening factor, going to leave as is. Sensitivity high, or ultra high, I'm sorry. And uh, keep position. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I hit that magic word save. Okay? So it's going to save it. I'm going to call call it a file, not called uh, baseline, but I'm going to call it edited one seven 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 parameters. Going to hit save. You're not seeing the uh, that screen pop up, but know that it's there. And then I'm going to come over to the magic word that says write. Oh, apparently it can't read a parameter. Interesting. What parameter can it not read? 
please check connection of a module. So that's a good thing right there. You know why? What I'm going to do is I'm going to just check the power, make sure all the connections are solid. It uh, saved a connection. So somewhere when I initially plugged this in, it wasn't as good as what I, I thought it was. So it's simple as that. By checking that re little read function, you can make sure that everything is uh, reading correctly. All right, so one more time, I'm just going to make sure I hit save. Hit save, good to go. So that way, I can cut out. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to just unplug it. I am going to hit exit, and excellent. So I'll see you guys on the other side, taking a look at the truck. I'm about to kill myself. Okay. Very responsive servo. I want to see how responsive it is on the rocks. That's what's going to count. Yes, I agree. Okay, with you. don't move. Don't move yet. Let me get so I don't kill myself down here. All right, guys. Just so you know, it is pretty late. We just got this thing in. With. Want to get this tested so we can get some fresh video out for you guys. This is the Reefs 777. Fully programmable. I have it set at 85% power. Nothing like a little bit of love here. You know what the best part is? Outside of watching that speed, watching that power. By the way, this is Direct 3S. Uh, so, Reef has gone that new direction. Which a lot of, uh, a lot of comp drivers have been pushing. Alright. Oh man, no questions asked. These are two twos. These are moving rocks. Right there, that's exactly what I want to see. All right, now I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna get into a safe position. Uh, cause, excuse me, sir. Watch your face. This is a rough climb right here. Yeah. There it is. There it is. That's the quickest you've ever done that. Yeah, as my helper says, he's right. It is the quickest I've ever done that. Um, big advantage with this particular servo, it is rather heavy. So those of you that like some some weight distribution, might have Let me to get play in front a little of bit of games. Go ahead. Might have to play a little bit of games. Guys, you're just going to hear this raw. There's going to be minimal editing because ain't nothing like seeing a uh, brand new servo coming on the market pushing the envelope across the board. And this is like what I as a driver want to really see. Just new stuff, different stuff. You know, companies not being afraid to go outside of the comfort zone. You know, you got these these tires on here, licensed from USD Sticky. I'm sorry, licensed from Kryptonite Customs. They are the USD Stickies. Uh, you know, got this brand new servo. I'm gonna pop my head up here because I can't see. It is a downside of being dark. And I'm not gonna lie, I am not dressed for this. Come on, baby. Get that grip. Get that grip. Get that. Get that grip. Get that grip. Get that grip. Get that grip. I'll tell you what. The one thing. This is probably the hardest area right here. Now I've got some adjustments to do uh, with trim and actually I know ironically my axles hitting all that but you think about it
you come over here? In oh a minute, God. without killing myself. All right, take your time, take your time. There's something about these 11 o'clock runs that, you know, we need lights out here. That's all it comes down to. All right, so we know for a fact that this particular uh, setting is a little bit difficult because, well, if you happen to just look at that, it doesn't barely, it barely fits. I doubt that it's going to be able to make it all the way, but we're going to try and push it as far as we can. Just because that's how I do things. Maybe over in here. Yeah, yeah here I don't know that I'll be able to make that. Um, it does need to come to about seven and a half inches. It is set at seven. And for this particular truck, I honestly highly doubt I'll make it. You might. I uh, might. Nope, I am coming off there. All right, so I'm going to play the game here. I'm going to give myself a handicap, yada, yada. I know you guys are like, oh, you're a purist, you're a purist. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't disagree. This is about getting it done. It is late. I want to go to sleep. I got to work tomorrow morning. And we're just kind of hoping that it does work. Whoop. That was an entertaining sound. I'm just gonna see, like I said, seven and a half inches would be perfect on this. Uh, this is exactly just seven. bring it to the front and see it do this front. Oh, I see what you're saying. Push it to here and see see what yeah. it does right here. All right, we'll play that game. We'll give you guys a little bit of a show. I think this will be all right. Um, this this particular uh, obstacle right here, because of the heavy um, articulation does give a servo or two uh, some issues. I've had other brands um, just say no, they didn't want us, they didn't want it to turn. And it's not because they didn't like it, it's because they didn't like it. Sticky out of girl. I don't like the way that sits. See right there is usually where it gets hung up. And this tire this this these are heavy tires guys. Um these weigh <laughs> close to about a half a pound each. These are some beastly beastly tires. Lower, please. All right. All right. I don't know about you, but I think that's good enough. I would think.